and today we want to talk about our little inner voice <laughs> we all have it we all do we have that inner voice that sometimes gives us good advice but other times it stops us it's trying to pull us back it's trying to hold us back full force so we don't go too far overboard we don't do all the big things we dream about well I want to talk about how you can control that little voice in your head or that little whatever it is somebody that sits on your shoulder and whispers in your ear <clears throat> you don't know enough you are not good enough you are not worthy who wants to listen to you it is not true please don't listen to it because it's not true but it will come up as you start dreaming big dreams as you start moving towards those big dreams that little voice is going to come up again and again and again and you need to learn how to control it because all it is is your subconscious coming up telling you be careful that's all it is and why does it tell you to be careful because it's there for survival for your protection and if you're moving out of your comfort zone if you are moving into an area of your life where you've never been before and your game is getting bigger then obviously it has plenty of reason to tell you to move slowly stop here that's far enough right because you're moving out of your comfort zone so be aware of that it's totally normal when you start playing a bigger game that that little voice is gonna pop up and it's gonna say hey that's far enough you know let's not go any further because you are not whatever <laughs> it's not true it's just for your protection and you know so that you don't move too far too fast but you're in control because those are your thoughts well it's in your body it's in your mind so obviously the thoughts are yours right you've created them you've created them maybe from an experience you had when you're a tiny little toddler and then you did move too fast and you fell and you had a bloody nose and this experience taught you not to go so far or so fast because it hurts right so when that little voice sets in we need to find different techniques how we can actually not only say thank you but no thank you for this advice I recommend you do that each and every time it comes up so that you become aware of it so that you realize that it's your thoughts it's nothing from the outside and it's not the truth definitely not the truth it's a creation of your own life's experience from many many years ago in most cases how do you overcome that apart from recognizing it saying thank you but no thank you another way to do that is to celebrate each win you have and I'm sure you see athletes I mean when you watch sports you see the athletes whenever they win even if it's just something small they celebrate yeah and you need to do the same in my book I talk about tapping yourself on the back if nobody else does it but that's just a small gesture it needs to be done with a gesture and I would also do it with sound when I have bigger things that I celebrate I mean I jump up and down I throw my hands up in the air I sing I scream yeah 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 I don't want to go too crazy because it's some people walking around because it's Sunday today so but I think you understand what I mean every little win needs to be celebrated so that little voice 
learns how to appreciate us and our achievements so that we because that little voice is us right so that we learn that we are good enough that we are worthy that we've already achieved so much in life so do that for every tiny little thing yesterday my aunt and my uncle came to visit me and I baked some last-minute cake because they called me and they said we want to come this afternoon and the bakery was already closed so I had to come up with something and I must admit I'm not very good at baking because I don't do it very often so I whipped up last-minute cake and it tasted really nice so I celebrated not only by eating sweet pieces, which I shouldn't after the holidays, but also by appreciating myself, by really saying to myself, well done, Barbara, great achievement. It doesn't have to be a big thing. Start with the small things and move and make it a habit because that's the point. You've got to make it a habit so that it becomes strong enough to get rid of those old, disempowering beliefs that you are not worthy, you are not good enough, you are not this or not that. It's all not true. You are worthy because you are here on planet Earth to achieve something, to do something good with your life. Don't let your inner voice stop you. And don't let those people around you stop you. But we will talk about that another time. So celebrate each and every tiny little win you have, no matter what it is. Okay? Start doing that and I promise you, your confident will roar, will soar, will fly with the eagles. Yes. So have a wonderful week and I see you soon. This is Barbara Hofmeister from the To Be Network.